Okay, we're going to take a look at an optimization um, problem uh, looking at a box. And this question is question seven from November 2014. So what you're given is you're given that it's a box, but then this one, they gave you a whole bunch of things here. They're saying what we're going to do is we're going to take a big rectangular piece of paper that's 100 centimeters long and 40 centimeters wide, and we're going to cut it right here and here, and we're going to fold it along these dotted lines, and, and then we're going to cut it here. So this part here that you cut and you fold up, that'll be the height of the box. Then we're going to fold it over. Uh, this part down here is the base. Okay, so this problem was a little bit different. You have to still you look at this thing. We kind of have a length we don't know. We have a base we don't know. And we have a height we don't know. But we can build equations for each part. We can build equations for each part. And then we can set up an equation for volume by just going with times length times the uh, times the height. Just multiply the three sides together. So that's all we're going to do. The first question gives you a bit of a hint. It says express the length in terms of h. Well, you just go down. There's the length. But I can see if I take two H's and an L and add them together, I get 40. That's what this is. It's 40 is the width of this piece of paper. So I go 40 equals 2H plus L, but they said express L in terms of H. So all we do is subtract the 2H and we get L equals 40 minus 2H. That's the first question. Now we're supposed to figure out the volume of the box. Well, they've given us the length. We've got the height. What we don't know is the base. What we have to do is play exactly the same game. Take the base plus another base, the height plus another height. That's two bases and two heights. We can see it adds up to the 100 centimeters. So we just built an equation. 100 equals two bases and two heights. But well, we want to figure out what the base is. So we subtract 2H, divide by 2, 50 divided by 100 divided by 2 is 50. 2B divided by 2 is just B. If you just solve, uh, make uh, B the subject, you'll see that B equals 50 minus H. I just subtracted 2H and then divided by 2. Okay, so now we've got the base. We've got the length. We know that the height is H. Hey, we've got it all in terms of one variable, H. 50 minus H, 40 minus 2H, and H itself. If we multiply those three things together, we get an equation for the volume of the box. Now, the last question says, how do we make H um, of the height that will make the volume of the box maximum? Well, this is all you have to do. We've got the length, we've got the base, we know the height, we just multiply them together. If you take H and multiply it by 50 minus H, you get 50 H minus H squared. And then we just do FOIL on it. Uh, 50H times 40 um, is 200H. Uh, sorry, 2000H. That's how many H's we have. We have minus 40 minus 100. That's minus 140H squared. And then we have minus H squared times minus 2H. That's positive 2H cubed. Okay, then we take the derivative because we want it whenever we do a maximum, we've got a function for volume. We take the derivative and we make it equal zero. And that's when we're going to find um, the max and mins. Well, they're asking for a maximum, and that's all we do. Now, in this government um, memo, they took these numbers and put them into quadratic formula. Might be a little smarter to put three and 140 and 1,000 in, but you'll get this exact same answer. So B is um, negative 280, A is 6. C is 2,000, they put it in the quadratic formula, and they get two different answers out. They get 37.86 and 8,88 for the height. Well, if you put 37,86 back in here, where it says 40 minus 2H, you're going to get a negative answer. It just doesn't make any sense. It won't work. So you throw out the 37,86, and the maximum um, volume will be when it's 8.8 .8 centimeters. And there's your answer. So you always take the derivative. You've got a function like volume. And then you take the derivative and you make it equal zero. And then solve it to figure out the max or min.
And that's the whole story. At least to that question, it is. Okay.